Okay, in this presentation we are going to look at discrete random variables. Here we have two discrete random variables, x and y, and both of these, both x and y take the values 0, 1, and 2 with varying probabilities. Here we actually have the table of probabilities. This is the joint probability distribution. Okay, so the probability of x equals 0 and y equals 0, or back to vice versa I should say, equals 0 0.1. Likewise, the probability of x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 is 0 0.1. And the probability of y equal to 2 and x equal to 2 is also 0 0.1. And there we have all nine possible combinations and the corresponding probability. Something that you should always do, really, is just check that the totals sum up to 1. So we'll do that. So the probability of y equal to 0, that's 0 0.35. Probability of y equal to 1, that's 0 0.30, and 0 0.35 again for the probability of y equal to 2, and that sums up to 1. That's good. So we just always should check that, okay? So what we have to do here is compute the expected value of u, where u is a difference between x and y, x minus y to be specific, okay? Now what we're going to have to do is actually go through the table and count out for each of the cells, what would be the the the, prop, the value of u and what would be the corresponding probability? Okay, so what we're going to do here is just sort of make ourselves a little bit of space, and what we're going to do here is just count x minus y. So here we have x equals zero. So zero minus zero is zero. Zero minus one is minus one, and zero minus two is minus two, and so so on. X equal to one. Well, 1 minus 0 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, and so on, okay? So what we end up with is this down here. So there are five possible outcomes, five possible values for u. So in one instance, we could have u equal to 0, and this corresponds to three of the cells on our table, x equal to x equal to 2, y equal to 2, that's a difference of zero, uh, 0 and so on. So there's three cells that have that difference. Likewise, there are two cells that correspond to a value of u equal to 1, okay? And there are two cells that correspond to a value of u equal to minus 1, okay? So, and then also we have minus 2 and 2 respectively. So there's five possible outcomes there for u. So what we're going to do is try and calculate the combined probability of each. Well, in the first case, what we do is go through the table and see what corresponds to minus 2. So in this case, it's just one cell, 0 0.2. In this case, the next case, uh, u equal minus 1. So that's 0 0.15. And then 0 0.3 and so on. Okay, so we have the table down here. Now, so what we're going to do to calculate the expected value of u is multiply u times each value of u times the probability of that value okay so just as a remark we have all of the values here the probability of u equal to 1 equals 0 0.25 and the probability of 2 equals 0 0.10 so minus 0 0.4 so just going through each one of them what we do is count them out minus 2 times 0 0.20 minus 0 0.40 minus 1 times 0 0.15 that is minus 0 0.15 and so on okay i have a finish off here below so these are the probabilities the values times the probabilities that we're going to need and essentially to calculate the expected value of u essentially what we do is just sum them all up okay so Minus 0 0.40 plus minus 0 0.15 plus 0, 0 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.20. That gives us an expected value of, there we go, minus 0 0.1. Okay, so you can disregard that bit there. It's just a bit of duplication. So that's the answer there. That is the expected value of u. The difference between x and y, x minus y to be specific, and there we have it there, minus 0 0.10 is the expected value of that difference. Okay.